I'm coming. Sorry, sir. I'm, I'm a member of your church. I attend services on Sundays, but due to the large crowd, sir, you may not know me, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what can I do for you? Uh, I I'm so sorry, sir. My family and I just relocated from the north due to the crisis happening there. We lost everything, sir. And I do many other jobs I found around to keep my family going, sir. But today, we, I, I've gone everywhere to see if I can find something to do, but all to no avail, sir. And um, I decided to to check by, sir, if you can. Please help me with some foodstuffs for my family, sir. What did you do in my house? I, I'm sorry, sir, but I, I saw you wash, washing your car outside, sir, so I, I decided to, to, to come in, sir. You mean you just saw me standing by my car and you decided to come today? Problems. Um, just stay somewhere around the corner. Just stay there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Came from. He says he attends our church. He said he came from the north. He said he's in the sanitation department. Some cock and bull story. So what does he want? Food. Food from where? I feel like going out there and sending him away. You know that he claims to attend our church. I, I think I've seen him twice on Christ in the sanitation department while they were cutting the grass. But I didn't want to tell him that I knew him so that he won't have some strong ground for his begging. I don't even know what to do now. I, I feel, do we even have some uh, food stuff that we can spare? It's what the price of food is saying now. I cannot give anybody my food stuff. We have to do something about it, at, at least. I think we had a dinner with Dr. Benson yesterday and there was some leftover food from the... Oh, yes. Yeah, you can package yes. that. I think that will suffice. Maybe it's just one man. No, 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 no. Warm, no. That's a long process. Just go inside there. Uh, Pack the food together and let me give it to him because he's, he's literally a compound. If any visitor can come in and I wouldn't want any visitor to meet him outside there. I don't want that kind of thing. Please, let's be fast about it. Okay. Just put it in the nylon and then, you know. Okay. Take this token. Manage it to your family. This is all I have for now. My regards to your family. Okay. Thank you, sir. But, sir, can you please pray for me? Please, I'm busy. Ah! Okay, let's pray. Thank you, sir. Our Father in heaven, we thank you because you are God. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Please, as he goes, let your prayers go with him. Provide for his family. Thank you, our Father and our God. In Jesus' name we pray. Oga, can't you say amen? I didn't say amen because I didn't understand the prayer. What do you not understand about such a simple prayer? The part you kept saying, our father, our father. Were you referring to you and I? Of course, it is just you and her here now. Or are you not a child of God? I am by his grace. But what about you, sir? I'm a pastor, and you know it. But, sir, if you say our father, it means we are his sons, and we both are brothers. Yes. 
is the point I don't believe. And the reason I refuse to say amen. Because if we are brothers, you wouldn't have told me to stay at the corner outside. You'd have ushered me into your house. Sir, somehow, it is not possible that we are sons of the same father. Because that will make us brothers. And if we are brothers, you wouldn't have said what kind of nonsense is this now. To my cry of hunger, what sort of nonsense is this now? And you won't see I litter your house. Because it's, it's literally a compound. If any visitor can come in and I wouldn't want any visitor to meet him outside there. Wait a minute, how do you know what I said inside my... If we are brothers, your wife won't talk about coming to chase me away. What? I feel like going out there and sending me away. Neither will she refuse to share of her food stuff with me, sir. It's what the price of food is saying now. I cannot give anybody my food stuff with me. If we are brothers, you won't be ashamed of people seeing me around your house. If we are brothers, you won't ask your wife to pack the leftover of your friend for me. I think we had a dinner with Dr. Benson yesterday and there was some leftover food from the... Oh, yes. Yeah, you can package yes. that. I think that will suffice. If we are brothers, even if all you have is leftover, you won't give last night food to me cold. Maybe I should just warm No, 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 warm, no, that's a long process. And in this used nylon bag. Just put it in the nylon and then, you know. It can only be our father when we treat ourselves as brothers and sisters. You mean you threw the food away? Ah, okay. Moses or Mongoriola? I took you from being a beggar. I raised you from the dung here. I set you up to sit among princes. But how soon have you forgotten the road you traveled to get here? Now you hate the poor. And you detest the needy. The sight of those that travel the road you once traveled is now an offense to you. You forgot how I brought you before great men, even in your rags. If those men have resented your sight, Moses, would you be sitting among them today? You wicked servant. I came to observe your doings. And I've seen how you love to give to those who have enough. And you deny those who lack. You give to your rich friends on their birthdays and during festivals. But before your very eyes, the poor, they celebrate in hunger. What a wicked heart you are. I will curse your blessings and bring you back to the dung hill where I took you from. Unless you repent, I will abase you before everyone. And you shall know that I am the Lord that lifts up one and brings down another. Be warned and all your likes. I love the poor and the needy is dear to my heart. And that is why I chose some of you. And I blessed you so I can through you cater for them. But many of you whom I lifted by myself, you now believe you prospered by your own geniuses. So those who are waiting for me looks to you as useless and unserious men. If you hate the poor and the needy, I hate you. And I'll reject you because of them on the last day, as it is written in my word, Matthew 24, 35 to 46.